guys, welcome back. It is your favorite game with life, and I'm here with a very special treat for you all. This is The Fate of All from Thin Red Line Games. They were nice enough to send this copy over to me. Definitely appreciate them doing so. We're going to take a quick peek at it because I am going to be doing a playthrough of the game and showing you guys how this one works. I have been looking forward to it for over a year now. I did a preview video of it early on. So this one has been on my radar for a hot minute. And look at that, we got a little, well, look, Jewel Dice, man. I love the, the marble look on these, right? The, the gem looking dice. We got our little drug daily baggies and a few fake cards, which I don't know what these are gonna do just yet, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. And a lot of cool components. And the box on this is kind of interesting too. This is this is thick. This is a thick box. Right? This this box is designed to be shipped. This one will protect. I'll tell you, it, you can feel it. It's sturdy. I do not expect the corners to tear out on that and the, the bottom the same way too. Uh, what is this? This is the Stratacon. What is this example of play? Is this it, yeah, it looks like example of play. Yeah, yeah, little example play here. Lovely, lovely, beautiful. And we've got scenarios and designer's notes and rules of play. So all the different scenarios and this, this is what I was expecting from uh, Thin Red Line Games. They love their, their small print in their scenario books, man. Uh, it's not a big deal. I gotta say one of the things I will give Thin Red Line Games credit for is when it comes to their scenario books, when you are setting up a scenario, they always have it to where it looks complex. Like you're looking at this and you're like, oh, this is a calculus book, but it's not. It really is easy to set up their games. Like uh, Under an Iron Sky, right? You were thinking it's gonna be so hard because you're looking at it and it's just a row of numbers. And then it's easy. You just boom, 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 putting the uh, the counters out. They streamline it as much as possible. And we got our rules of play, which does not appear to be too long. Look, it's 23 pages. That is not a lot of rules for a game of this depth. Although, again, we got small type. I'm going to be pulling out my glasses to read uh, this one. But uh, I, I've kind of glanced over these rules and, and eyeballed them and they're not difficult. It's it's not hard. So I think people will be fine with that. So those are our three booklets and now we've got just a, a stack of, of player aids, counters, and maps in here. We'll, uh, we'll eyeball the maps last. Wow, look at all these, all these different types of maps. And... These are player aids, charts, and tables. This, what is this? I'm unsure what this is. Uh, da, 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 just kind of looks like a, hey, this is where everything is. And it's got the lines drawn out for it. We'll figure that out when we read the rules. Uh, force boxes. So armies, fleets, Persian morale, treasury down over here. And of course, we're gonna have one for the Macedonian forces. And this is our calendar. So basically you turn record track. And don't know what that word is. It's an old Greek word, but something alignment and movement track points. So our player aids and charts and tables. Oh yeah, that's right. They always do this when it comes to their charts and tables. They tend to have them connected into some type of little booklet, player aid type deal. And it makes it easy because you don't have to fumb through a whole lot of player aids. You've got it right here. All your charts are going to be located together. And this is this is the your, your combat results, right? This is what you're gonna be rolling on, different modifiers. Always gonna be down there below it. So so very nice. We've got that all together. And we should have two of these. Yep, one for each player. Always a nice inclusion. And then we've got our stacks of counters. Here, let's see, supply points, inside city, depleted, engaged, melee, probably says ranged on the other side. Let's see, does it? Let's say, yeah, engaged, locked. All right, so the rest of them, uh, looks like a whole bunch of different types of unit counters, uh, 
these, I guess, are the counters for like the, the fleets and the armies. So you can kind of keep track of, uh, of what's what. Morale. No, missile. Missile low. Engaged. Different talents. Talents is their money. Let's see. That says morale. Army size. Fleets. And this looks like a whole bunch of different admin counters. And these are the uh, that white core. Let's see if I can let you guys see that. But it's a little bit thicker. Right, so the we've seen a lot of white core with compass games. They used a lot of white core back in the day, but this is not as thin as that. This is thicker, right? It's not as thick as the as like GMT games or Lock and Load Publishing. It's just a bit thinner than that. But I actually really like the white core. I think they stay together uh, better. So these are nice. I like the counters. Anyway, we've got some more units. Just a whole bunch of different types of units. I don't know what's what, but we're going to find out. Looks like leaders over here. Some type of, what is this? I cannot tell what these guys are. Is that like elephants or chariots or supply trains? Ah, oh, those might be supply trains. And then we got the fleets down over here. Calvary. Different types of like spear and hoplites and all that. Ah, 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 can't wait to play. God, I got to get it to the table. I got a couple things I got to do first, but I wanted to just do a, a quick little unboxing and, and kind of eyeball everything. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's all beautiful, man. It's all beautiful. Lovely components. But we always get that from Thin Red Lion Games, so it is not surprising in the least. And then finally, a few more different types of units, leaders, fleets, cavalry, all the other good stuff that you are going to get with this game. So, uh, how many stacks is that? Is that five? Yeah, five sheets of councils total for the game. Now let's take a look at the maps. All right, now they did this just a little bit differently. Let's toss those out of the way. We've got different types of maps. So these maps are like the, the big overland maps. And then we have one map that is our... Uh, our battle map. I don't know where the little strings are coming from for coming out of this box somewhere, We're getting these little strings all over the place. Let's move these out of the way. All right. Oh, wow. This is bigger than I anticipated. This is a full size map for the battle map. Oh, this is going to play out nicely. You're going to need two tables to do this game right. One table to set up the big overland game. Right, and then one table to keep this off to the side so you can bring it down. Because uh, if I understand the game right, and I think I, I am 100% right on this. I might be wrong, but I do believe I'm right. Is that you have the option of just doing the combat on the big overland map and just rolling and being done, or actually bringing the individual units out over here and doing the the actual individual battle, and that's awesome. That is, that is really cool. And these hexes, you can tell, uh, when we look at this compared to the other maps, you can see how much bigger these are because they are big enough to hold like three of those counters. Got a little river that runs through it, different type of terrain. And they did mention that there are uh, pieces that you can put on here to add like hills or uh, forests or things like that to kind of change it up just a little bit. The the defensive player gets to pick a couple of pieces that he adds if he wants to add that to it. So this is the big battle map. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to have this set up because I'm going to want to go to this a lot. I, I say that now, but we'll have to see how it plays out in game. And... We'll start folding these out. It looks like all of these are full size maps. I'm not seeing anything that's half size. Oh, good grief. This is going to take some space. I might have to reorganize my office just to be able to set all this up. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It is a thing of beauty. Look at that map. Oh, yes. Um, definitely going to have to figure out how all this goes together so I can set it up all, all at the same time. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do the, the static cam for this game. It is too big. I'm going to have to do the handy cam. It's a little shakier, but that way I can kind of pan around to all the different uh, goings on of the game. And look over here. We see some of our, our cities. This looks like a road. Is it Gaza? Sidon? Damascus? 
So these are little roads. I think this is, I don't know, I'm not sure how that's dividing it out. Maybe that's like a city state. Cause we got a little city right there. We got harbors, port cities here. We even got little island cities way over here. Oh, I love that. So you're gonna have like fleets moving around, moving troops and they're gonna come land and they're gonna start stabbing her and firing arrows. And it's gonna be all freaking awesome. Oh, and by the way, this map, uh, same thing with the battle map, feels just like their other maps that you got from Thid Red Lighting Games. So this is the thicker poster paper. This isn't, uh, how to describe it. it. It's almost cardstock thickness. So it's just thick enough that you can not worry about ripping it, but thin enough that you can still fold it up. And I don't think that we have to worry about the uh, the issues that you get with some of these maps where that starts to crease and start to show white as the paper wears out. Uh, I have not had problems with their paper doing that. All right, so that's one. So we got the battle map, that's one map. And it looks like we've got two other maps or three other maps, excuse me. Are they all the same size? Yeah, let's see, that's same size, that's same size, and that's same size. So we are going to have four maps total, four of these huge maps. I'm bumping my camera over here, taking up all this space. It is going to be uh, very much a table hog, all right? So four of these maps set up plus the battle map same size as this. So uh, anticipate a lot of space being required. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna have to reorganize my entire office just so I can set up this game. But I'll tell you what, it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna do it. But anyway, we're not gonna tear out and set out all the maps. I wanna make sure I'm careful with them. But this just gives you an idea of what all the maps are going to look like when they are all set out together. It just looks uh, beautiful. I always gotta say, I always like their their map works. You can always tell what the <clears throat> you can always tell what the hexes are easily, and they are all, of course, if we can see here, nicely numbered. So you know exactly where the units are going to go. And it uh, same thing for the the water hexes that are up over here as well. Oh, I love that. Look at those mountains. Right, look at those mountains. Big road, highway running through here all the different little city states little towns to be taken over and pillaged and destroyed little port cities so anyway that's the basics that's the the gist of what the game comes with it all looks fantastic and like i say it's a it all fits in a rather small box i expected a much bigger box but this is smaller uh, than some of the others, but they should all fit back in here uh, nice and neatly. Anyway, you guys stay tuned. I will be setting up this game as soon as I can. I got to get a couple things off the table so I can spread all this out on the table. But as soon as we do, we'll do a uh, full review on it and a little bit of a playthrough. That's going to be it for me. You guys take care. I'll catch you in the next one.